Today I'm gonna to show you how to make this kinetic typo in a box. Step one, I gotta make a new composition. I gotta make it 1920 by 1920. I'm gonna rename it as text. You can make it five seconds, click OK. Select the type tool, type in whatever you want. And the font I chose is a rock grotesque condense heavy. As you can see, the anchor point here is on the left. Press and hold control and double click here on the pen behind. So it's gonna jump into the center. Let's center this, let's go to align put it into the center, press the letter S to scale it up, scale it up all the way to the endings. And we're gonna need to change the settings of the composition. So let's go to composition, composition settings, and I'm gonna decrease the height until it is going to touch the borders, basically the font. So I'm gonna go down somewhere around here, maybe a little bit more down. This should be good, click OK. Right click here, create a new composition. I'm gonna rename this as square and I'm gonna make the height also 1920. Click OK. Drag and drop the text in here and I'm gonna position it on the top. Go to align, position it on the top. Let's go to the effects and presets, type in repeat tile. Drag and drop on the text and we're gonna increase the extend down. So we're gonna extend it down like this and we're gonna animate it. First, we're gonna animate it horizontally and then vertically. So. Let's go to the settings of the layer, transform, and we got here the position. And I want to drag this on the left. But before that, I want to activate the ruler, press Control R, so it's going to highlight the ruler. And I'm going to position the ruler at the letter A, somewhere here, so at the ending of the letter A. So now I'm going to activate the position, stopwatch, and I'm going to go to the 20th frame, and I'm going to bring it down until it starts moving here. And I'm gonna go up here and increase the expand right. So now you can see that we got more. So I'm gonna go and drag the position more until the letter A, it is going to touch this ruler here that we created. See, like that. So it is going to loop itself and I'm gonna extend more, expand right more like this. And I'm gonna go and select both of the keyframes, press F9 to easy ease. And I'm gonna bring this line here to the first second and I'm gonna select the text, collapse, press Ctrl D to duplicate, and I'm gonna bring this here, and I'm gonna press the letter U, so it's gonna highlight the position, I'm gonna deactivate, and I'm gonna go here and activate the position again, and I'm gonna need to animate this vertically. So I'm gonna go to the ruler, zoom in, and drag the ruler here at the bottom of the first text. Great, and I'm gonna bring it to the 20th frame, and now bring this value down so the text is going to move up and we're gonna extend down a little bit more and I'm gonna zoom in, bring the value down until it is gonna touch the ruler like that and I'm gonna add more expand down like that. Select both keyframes, press F9 to easy ease and I'm gonna bring this all the way to the second second here so it's gonna loop itself like this. Now let's go here to the project, create a new composition, new composition. I'm gonna rename this as perspective, 1920 by 1920, click OK and drag and drop the square into the perspective. And here we're gonna need to activate the 3D settings. Right now you cannot see these, so I'm gonna go here to the toggle switch and click on it and it is going to highlight the 3D settings I'm gonna activate. Here you don't need the Cinema 4D, the classic 3D, it's enough. So let's go to settings, let's go to transform, and we got three new options, the X, Y, Z rotation. And I'm gonna rotate the X downwards, but we're also gonna need to put this even more in perspective to distort it even more. So I'm gonna right click here, go to new, and select camera. And as you can see here, you get the zoom, you can customize that. I'm gonna put it on somewhere around 160, click OK. So I'm gonna scale it down, where's the scale? Here's the scale. I'm gonna scale it down and it's gonna look something like that. And I'm gonna go to the position. Ah, uh, yeah, this is the position and you can rotate the X even more down, something like that. And another thing to figure out the center of this would be to go and create a rectangle. So select the rectangle. I'm gonna change up the fill to some lighter color and press and hold shift, create a rectangle. Make sure that the anchor point is in the center. Press and hold control, double click on the pen behind and let's go to align, align it to the center. So we're gonna need to align around this text. I'm gonna go to the position first and change up the position, change up the rotation and you customize it until it is going to align pretty nicely. I'm thinking to leave it like this, it's pretty good. I'm gonna uncheck the rectangle so the inner hole is gonna be smaller. I'm gonna go to the second second and it goes some like this. 
I think it's cool. Okay, from here, we're going to go and create a new composition, click on new composition, I'm going to go with final comp 1920 by 1920, click OK, and drag and drop the perspective in here, press Control D three times to duplicate. So we got four layers, and I'm going to select the first three of these, press the letter R for rotate, and I'm going to type in here 90 degrees. And as you can see, this doesn't match that well, but we're going to correct it later. And I'm going to go here to the second one, and at here plus 90. So it's going to be 180. And I'm going to go here 180 plus 90. Now we're going to need to fix that and customize it here, the perspective. And basically, you need to go back to the final comp, which will be a pain in the ass. But what you can do is right click here, go to new and go to viewer. So this is going to create two viewers. And I'm going to select this viewer and go to the perspective. And here I can arrange it. For example, I'm going to go to the position and here you can see the preview as well. So let's customize it a little bit more, shall we? I'm going to go to the X rotation and I'm going to rotate and I'm going to bring this up. Look at that. And it starts to come together and let's move it more. I think I succeeded. I can remove one of these and I'm remained with this one. I'm going to hit play and it looks some like this. You also can add colors. You can go to the effects and presets and type in colorama drag and drop on one of these and it's going to switch up the colors and if you want to change the color you can go to the input phase and just shift the face shifter and it's going to switch up the color and this is how i make this cube kinetic typo here in after effects thanks for watching